Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to West of Loathing. I've recuperated from the horrors that I experienced in the ghost town of, of eternal perpetual paperwork, but here we're gonna carry on and try to get to the bottom of the mail situation so we can build this bridge. What is- what a place is? It's a postal way station. Do you know about mail? How do goblins communicate over long distances? Hopping! Spores floating on winds, new goblin growing, saying a message. That's fucking gross! Ah, disgusting. Postal service property, no trespassing. I'm gonna trespass. Ooh, hello. Go through them. Let it roll in. All right, go through them. Blank postcard. Go through them. Reboot Hill. An article in here about how they had to change the name of a nearby cemetery due to so many skeletons being raised there. You mark down the cemetery's location. All right, newspaper. Someone removed all the funny, so there's literally no reason to care about them. You're goddamn right you are. This cabinet is full of maps, but you have no idea what any of them mean. Maybe you could ask about it at the local post office in Dirtwater. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. All right, I'll go with yeah, maybe. All right, what's over here? Why is there an outhouse in here? You don't even know what, the, know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this outhouse. <laughs> Why is there an outhouse on the in-house? Why is there an in-outhouse? Why is an out in house, out house, house? I have no money. Let's go to Reboot Hill and farm me up some money, please. Oh. You sense an extremely powerful, extremely malicious cow presence nearby. Ooh, Hellstrom Ranch. Hell yeah, I'm going to Hellstrom Ranch. How powerful are we talking here? Whoa! <laughs> that is a rip in a dimension. Oh wow, yikes! What's up, Gary? Weird feelings. A sensation of puzzling, huh? From that direction coming. West Pole. The West Pole? Really? The West Pole? Ringing this will attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. It's a portal to hell. You hear the ominous mooing. It sure seems like a powerful source of hell cow energy. Okay. All right, the only part of the shed that didn't burn was this horseshoe attached. Guess it's really good luck. I got a lucky horseshoe. Good for me. Pistol attack damage. God damn it, why wasn't I a snake oiler? Ah, oh, I wish I was a snake oil. That'd be so much better than this. I want to shoot things and people. All right, let's fight at least one cow. Hello. Gary, don't let him do that to you. Okay, Gary, let him do that to you so I don't deal with it. What is that? Wait. Wait. Gary will blast all of your enemies with spores, reducing all their stats. That sounds horrifying. Okay, Gary, there was no point to that. All right, Gary, hit him with your best shot. Gary, that's a terrible shot. Gary, you're disappointing me. You're nothing but a disappointment, and frankly, I don't love you anymore. Ow. Bam. All right, well, I got that. They're super evil. All right, roasted cow tongue. But at least now I can get a better lock picking. I could get better dickering eventually, but not now. Sadly, not now. All right, what's in here? Whoa. Hello. You lack the proper leatherworking expertise to use these tools. Ah! The shelves mostly burned. Burned leatherworking manual. Am I about to get? Am I get about to get? I just got leatherworking. Oh! After you're done reading it, you understand that the book itself is bound in valuable leather. You tear it apart so you can make something else from it. All right. All right, make something out of thick leather. Ooh. I can make my own hat. I can make my own hat. Ooh. I could get a meat bonus though. I like a new hat, please. Oh, look at that hat. I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna make a bag. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make me some pants. Oh, look at those pants. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, yeah! I'm gonna get lassos. Oh! Oh! Uh, hell yeah. Give me those pants. Oh, sorry, kneeling pants. You gotta make way for the better pants here. Oh, look at that hat. Oh! Oh, not as good. I don't like it as good. But it's got so much muscle, I gotta wear it. It's a good hat. Hmm. It's gonna grow on me. All right, maybe it's a shitty hat. It's a pretty bad hat. It's a it's a disgustingly bad hat. I actually don't like this hat at all. I don't like that. But I'm gonna go to the West Pole for some reason. For a memoriam. 
All right, I'll go there real quick, and then I'll go to the West Pole. I'll be- I'm, I'm not gonna stop in here. I got, I'm gonna continue on. I keep getting distracted by different things, and I'm not supposed to be going- Oh! Hi, Wandering Sally. How you doing? I, uh... I don't really have anything that I- I don't know why I stopped here, actually. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna put on my black hat because I like that hat better. That hat looked way better than this. And I'm more about aesthetic than I am about functional purpose! I shout into Sally's face. Oh. Bones? Whoa! The Cairn Cow? What the fuck is that? I'm gonna get beefy for that one. Shit, dude. Bam. Bow, 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 bow. Go, Gary, go. Oh, that ain't good. Bam! Hit you with a bone, you stack of bones. Take some of that with you. What the fuck? <laughs> this yucca wants to be further east than it is. All right, loco weed. That's what Timfler would like, but I can't do that. Pile of weird rocks. Mess with them. All right. They don't seem to weigh much, much as they should, and they're sort of drawn to each other. You could probably make an interesting cairn out of them. Something suave. Oh. A uh, cool zigzag. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, that's nice. Something powerful. An impregnable. Whoa. You got a perk heart of stone. Your circulatory system is partly stone now. Which makes your blood even more thicker than water, than regular blood! <laughs> I thought that was a penis. I thought that was straight up a penis. Something mystical. A mystical sigil. Ah! Nice! Make a- Another tower. Mmm. That's good. Something suave. A cool zigzag. Nah, I'm gonna make- I'm gonna make something nice. Gonna make some uh, sassy face. Ah, that's not sassy. That's a weird face. That is a goddamn weird face. That's a goddamn weird face. Nothing special about it apart from the fact that it isn't in a pile. Alright, pick it up. Oof, it's way heavier than it looks. You can't budget at all. Weird. Alrighty then. What about... What if I make all these super manly tower penises? What if I do that? Huh? What if I do that? No, not that. There we go. Alright, got that. How about that now? Why is this happening? Alright, fine then. I'm gonna make you into something I want to make. Threatening fist! Ugh! Just <laughs> take some of that! Ah! Alright, fine. There was no point in being here. I'm gonna go to Reboot Hill, because why not? Whoa. There isn't a whole lot to occupy yourself during these long rides. If you've seen one cloud that looks like a duck, you've seen them all. Be a good opportunity to exercise your upper body, but you don't have any dumbbells. Try to straighten the spare horseshoe. Okay, alright, I'll do that. You spend some time grunting and puffing trying to unbend a horseshoe with your bare hands. It doesn't work, but it's quite a workout. Good for me, I'm a muscle head, I'm a cow puncher. That's what I do and that's how I do it. Wow, these trees. Hello! Such trees they are for spooking. Yeah, no kidding, these are grade A scary trees. I hope they knock my soul to sucking out. I don't really know anything about goblin religious beliefs. Do you guys believe in souls? Yes, but we sharing? It's complicated. All right, Gary, you carry on. Reboot hell. Don't worry, it's just paint, not blood. Jeez, there's a keyhole in the trunk of this tree. What? Well, I don't have a key, do I? I don't know if I have a key. I have no idea if I have a key. Do I have a key? Well, it's not prompting me, so I'm assuming it's not there. Don't know why I'm going over here. Well, there's a whole lot of nothing over here, but I'll look out for a key that goes to that tree, eventually. Hello? Lot one? You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed, above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. Howdy ma'am, is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters, they married four brothers, the Smith boys, and after that, they have each five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every single one of the twenty-four of them. Uh, you, uh, you know you're a ghost, right? Oh yes, in fact, I died here in this graveyard, where they're all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. That's not the problem, though. Ninety-five years is a pretty gun good run, after all. So what did you forget? I brought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed that I can't bear to leave until I remembered! Oh, I see. Well, maybe I can help you figure it out. 
Oh, thank you. I appreciate that effort so much. All right, what do you remember? First name ended in a vowel. Okay, anything else? When I was 40, she was born. No, no, 37. It wasn't 42. Must have been somewhere in that range, at least. Okay, all right. Anything else? First name was longer than her last, just like mine. Okay. Else? She wasn't buried next to any of my other daughters. Anything else? She sniffs a little. She passed at the poor, same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always in such ill health. Anything else? Favorite hobby was knitting. She knit me a lovely sweater for Crimbo just the year before she died. That's all I can remember. Knitting. Okay, then. Hang on. Let me think a moment. I think I know who she was. No, I don't. I have no goddamn idea. How would I know? Oh, jeez. Hang on. I'll be with you. God damn it. Ah. Uh, Rebecca Smith. Could be her. No. Uh. Wait, Rebecca Smith. That's her. Okay. So in 1840-ish, she was born. Not you. Wise old. This time the bar ate him. Alright, let's dig it up. I got a Mormon skin hat? Oh! Oh! God damn it, if only I was a snake oil salesman! God, this hat's cool! Peggy Immortal. Kinda ironic. Big Bob Hurlingham. Gone to the big pie-eating contest in the sky. I got a tripe pie. Gross. Oh, I can't. I'm too full. Biff Bunkerston. <laughs> he was a real butt face. <laughs> was he now? Snidely Crandallsworth. Sort of like a Benjamin Button kind of thing. 1800 to 1700. <laughs> Clean Willie Hanks. Really gonna, really is gonna hate this burial thing. Annet sent a bomb. Tried to eat her way out of a bear. All right, Buck Jeansley. Nobody ever saw a man die that way before. Whole gang buried in here. All right. I'll bash you. Whoa. 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 I don't like this. I'm going to bull rush you. I'm going to gore you. Murph. Oh, that didn't work at all. Oh. I'm going to die. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Ah. Well, I got angry, but I passed. I got so angry, I passed out. <laughs> it's only day two. Wow, holy shit, I made it pretty far. Well, time to get myself pissed off again. <laughs> I'm a red belly. I'm so grumpy. So grumpled. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anything interesting? Oh, miniature piano. What the hell? What does that do? Hannah isn't playing it. Turn it on. So merry, so tinkly. Okay, all right then. Anything else in this spittoon? Anything else in this nice spittoon? Off to one side of the trail, you spot a cactus that doesn't look like quite right. Specifically, it doesn't look right because it has a goblin face. As you get closer, you become pretty sure that it actually is just a goblin in a cactus outfit. It gives you some annoying side eyes and tries to wave you away, but the cactus arms are very mobile. Do you know a guy called Cactus Bill? Shh, going away. Gary, talk to this guy. Turning out goblin is cactus shepherd. Shepherd? Cactus herd from predators defending. Do cacti have predators? Other goblins, mostly. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Okay, all right, sure. All right. Roy Beans, House of Justice and Jelly Beans. Don't know why I'm here. Morning ablutions. Mor morning ablutions. Flushed. Hooray! I flushed another goddamn thing. <gasps> A spittoon! Yes. It's a spittoon, nothing special about it. Investigate. As soon as you get near the spittoon, you can smell the overpoweringly sweet stench it exudes. Nauseatingly sweet, like the rotting corpse of a dead gummy bear. Look inside. Garish rainbow colors swirl together in congealing psychedelic madness. Is Roy using jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. Investigate further. We're talking about a bowl of jelly beans that has been sucked on, half chewed, and then spat into a brass bucket. Do you seriously want to put your hand in that swill of artificial coloring and thickened saliva? It'll probably never be clean again. Go for it. Look, I'm serious. You're about to permanently dye your hand with a swirling mishmash of all the worst colors in the spectrum. No one will ever have a tattoo that looks as gross or stupid. Give it to me! Well, I tried. 
You don't ever say I didn't warn you. You plunge your hand into this spittoon and fish around for a while. Eventually you pull out a really disgusting pistol and a really disgusting hand to shoot it with. I got spittoon hand. Your hand has been permanently stained by the rainbow colored contents of a nasty spittoon. On the bright side, that hand will never suffer anything worse than that ever again. Oh, that's awesome. It'll probably make patoo sound when you shoot it. I love that. Yay! Yay! Yippee, yippee, you, you, you. Yippee, yippee, you. Whoa. There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case with a sign that says, Paraguayan murder bee honey jelly bean. Very rare. What kind of lunatic would pay 6,000 meat for a single jelly bean? Not this kind, that's for sure. I said no. Oh, jeez, that's a good pistol. Oh, well, there we go. Ah, oh, it's a good pistol. Better than my toilet pistol, I'll give it that. God, I wish I was a snake salesman. Ah! I wish I was a snake oiler. That'd be so cool! Howdy there, pilgrim. Name's Roy Bean. Howdy, Roy, my mumfler fumperdink. What do you have here? Well, when I first came to these parts, I was all about two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jelly beans. I was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy selling anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. Got old is all. Hung up my pistol for good, he points to the wall. He's pointing at an empty hook on the wall over a spittoon. I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but they're out of fashion. This whole place is just a jelly bean museum now. All right. Found a letter addressed to you. A letter? Give it to him. He opens it, snorts derisively, and tosses it into the fireplace behind him. Thanks anyway. For a jelly bean museum, I sure don't see many jelly beans. Huh. <laughs> Bunch of crooks and shady characters stole them. All three jaws. Suppose they think I'm a soft target now that I'm retired. I hope you give them back. Well, now, I certainly appreciate the assistance. Can't offer much in the way of reward, but I can tell you which way the group of thieves went if you happen out in that direction. Jellybean thieves hide out. Okay, I'll go get them. All right, not for sale. This lack of jelly beans is not for sale. Oh, funny. Funny, funny, funny. Funny, funny, funny. Hello, Gary. Oh, a place for going. Gary is thinking of one. Really? What's that? A cactus. A biggest cactus ever seen, with goblins inside. You discover a map location. Old Grandad. Well, that does sound interesting and or weird. All right, well, yeah, okay, all right, got that. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, well, might as well go to the jelly bean thieves hideout. Oh no, madness, small mind. All right, I'll go there, but I'm not gonna stay there. I like the idea of madness, small mind. Whoa, okay, I'm not gonna, I, I'm, I'm fucking out of here. I'm fucking out of here. Holy shit, I'm fucking out of here. Oh, all right, I'm gonna attack you. Ooh, hey, I'm gonna shoot you with my stupid pistol. Bang! Oh, that's good damage. Oh, that's good damage. Hi-ya, indeed. Bam, bitch. Holy shit. Alright. Hey! Hey, you jelly bean bastards! Ah! You approach the bandit seated around the fire. The meanest looking one speaks up. Don't know who you think you are, stranger. But you better turn yourself right around and head back the way you came. Lesson you want to eat lead. Well, that's not very neighborly. Take a eye, neighbor. You fellas stole a jar of jelly beans from an old man, and I aim to have them back. Oh, is that right? Is this how you plan on doing that? With craziness. Ah, oh, I wish I had intimidating five. Wait, hang on. Wait, can I? Hang on. I want to get intimidating five. That's amazing. Oh, a thousand? A thousand XP? All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go on a farming adventure the likes of which you never seen before. Arg, a shirtless man in a tight, stretchy pants charges at you out of nowhere. No more! No more mushrooms! No more yogurt! No more exploring my inner consciousness while running in place! I'm gonna kill something! Kill it and eat it! Holy jeez! You put on your angriest face and puff out your muscles to look real imposing. Hold it right there, you. It isn't working, he's still charging at you. Take the hit. This guy stomps pretty badly. Fortunately, he's too crazy to actually stop and eat you like he said. He runs off into the forest. You gain the effect of angry. You're- Ah! Oh, God damn it! God damn it! Ah, fuck a duckle me! Fuck a duckle me! Alright, fuck it, fine. I'm just going to the thieves. I don't have intimidating five. Ugh, what a take it too long. I'm too lazy. God damn it, I'll fix it! Later! Ah! I'm crazy! Uh, 
with words. Listen, fellas, you stole a jar of candy from an old man. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm very boring. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm crazy. Ah. The bandits hang their heads shamefully and shuffle away. That's right, you assholes. Better walk away. Oh. A filthy bedroll. All right. Missing beans. Grab them. Meager food supply, sarsaparilla. Oh, wait, I need to turn off that goddamn little miniature piano. Wait, would you like to turn it off? Sure. There we go, that's better, Jesus. Ah, uh, ill-gotten goods. Ah, nice. Pretty nice bedroll, must have stolen it. Open it. All right, oh, dynamite, I like that. Ill-gotten goods, needle, cheap whiskey, meat. All right, I'll take it. I seem to be short on meat these days. Yipes. Hey, buddy, I got your beans back. I got your beans, Roy Bean. Ooh, open that up. All right, good, I got some goodies. Yeah, <laughs> nice. All right, hey, Roy. Roy, buddy, I got your beans. All right, the second jar of jelly beans was stolen by a passel of them weird goblin fellas. Couldn't understand a word they were saying, but they were very insistent. Where'd they go? Northwest told that huge old cactus folks call old granddad. All righty then, well, that's where Gary wanted me to go anyway. Got a buffalo pile. Don't want to go there. I got to go where I'm headed. Be there in a bit. Whoa. Look at the size of that thing. Gary, whoa. Oh, look at old granddad. What, your granddad? Where? No, no, the name of the really big cactus over there. A famous goblin place named old granddad. But goblins aren't related to cactus. An honorary title. I see. Well, all right, let's check it out. Whoa, that's a big, oh my god. Ow, fucking, oh, god damn it. Every part of this place is awful. Hey, hi, no climbing for a human. All right, talk to them. I'm here for taking back a jar of jelly beans, you goblin stealing. Oh, what? Jelly beans, little colorful sugar things. Oh, little fruit rocks. Yeah, those, those are for the pile. The what? Anyway, no upstairs for humans. Maybe we can trading? No trading, but you can bribing me. Oh, okay, cool, what are you wanting? A candy bar, a good human candy bar of the bubbles having, you know what it? You mean this? Oh, yes, wonderful, thanking you. Can I climbing now? Sure, thanks. All righty then, hello. Ouch, ow, ouch, pile of goblin junk. There's a gash in the wall of the cactus here, revealing a vein of sticky purple goo. Gross, gross. Another goblin, no climbing. Oh, okay, can I bribe you? All right, cactus here, but delicious vein in the other room, but having losing my tap. All right, I don't have a tap, where do I get a tap? In the goblin pile? Oh man, if I was a goddamn snake oiler, ah, oh, frick! I would be able to deal with that. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Ah. Oh. How am I gonna get enough mysticality out of that? Oh, frick a dick. I can't even finish this because I don't have enough mysticality. If only I was a snake oiler. God, why didn't I pick snake oiler? I wanted to. Ah, oh, cow punching is a boring piece of shit profession. I'm just waving a bone all day. I ain't got no brains, no smarts, no nothing. All right, anyway, carrying on. No, it'd be crazy of me to go back and start the whole goddamn game over again and become a snake oiler. That'd be insane. Who would need that? Hey, it's educational and entertainable at the one and only petting cemetery. Five hundred me for a. Lifetime pass. Petting cemetery? That's right. A ride with ride variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons. And you're free to touch them to your heart's content. Well, with your hands, that is. No riding. Can I feed them? You can try. Neat. Interest? All right, let's do it. Oh, I should have dickered my way down. There was an option for it. If I had Moxie. Ah, damn it. You're welcome. Whatever. Fine. Hello, a petting cemetery. Neat. What is? Well, I'm not sure. Probably a collection of animal skeletons. Creepy. No thanking you. All right, sue yourself then, you ungrateful goof. I'll go my own way. Whoa. All right, woo. All right. Skeleton of a jackrabbit in a pinch. The jackrabbit can help you change a wheel on your wagon. Huh. Hmm. Skeleton of a desert tortoise. It is currently in a very slightly less of a hurry to get places than when it was alive. Black says buffalo skeleton, but there's nothing here. You're buffaloed by this fact. There's an owl skeleton. If you want to know how many fireballs it takes to get to the center of an enemy skeleton, just ask an owl. Take a picture. With a click and a flash, you take a photo of Hobart Boopert. 
All right. Spell damage for the rest of the day. That'd be nice. This is Bobcat Skeleton. Bobcats are known for their ferocity and the weird high-pitched noises they make when telling jokes. Pretty good. Hawk Skeleton. Re Hawk resents being mistaken for falcons and will shoot you if you do it too many times. Okay, then we. All right. I got Boone of the Bobcat. Oh, whoa. Whoa, Boone of the Bobcat, baby. Oh, yeah. But what does the owl normally do when I'm not taking a picture of it? Yeah, whatever. Probably spell damage, I think it was. Anyway, whatever, I got that. So I can take that back to the dude. I'm all out of money, of course. <laughs> That's great to know. Let's see, if I, it was at Breadwood, right? Breadwood? Yeah, this is Breadwood. Oh, Timfler suddenly gets spooked by something off the trail and it's easy to understand why. There's a horse skeleton in the ditch, which is a pro thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse. Approaching the horse, more closely you see the tattered remains of a Pony Express saddlebag in its skeletal flanks. Starboard bag is empty, but the poor one contains a skeleton hand with a ring on it. You conclude that either the horse rider died with his hand in the saddlebag or someone is really sad that the skeleton hand they ordered never showed up, even though they paid for it extra to have a sent Pony Express. Either way, free ring! Oh! Reduces the frequency of random encounters. Oh, well, why would they want that? I love random encounters. They're good people, those guys. All right, let's see what we got here. Hey, dude, I got it. Got the thing. Here you go. Great. Oh, will you look at that? What a beaut. Well, thank you, Mumfler. I ain't got anything for a reward, but I imagine you'll get some experience points out of it. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, that's me. That's me, buddy boo. It's me, buddy Budinsky. Hey, I can, I can open this now. Got Holloway's pin. That's pretty good. Goes on your lapel. Holy shit, that's real good. What else do I got? Oh, I got my revolting brooch, though. I don't want to, I don't want to, don't want to mess with that. That's, that's like my prized possession. I think, anyway. So anyway, that is all for this episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. In the next episode, I may or may not have turned myself into a, a snake oiler because I've just got Amy's been talking about this game. Amy loves this game and she's been telling me about how fun a snake oiler is to play in. And cow punching, while it's good, doesn't have quite the same pizzazz as a snake oiler. So maybe we'll see. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!